M0FXB, how would you like to program your Radtel RT950 Pro using Chirp? Massive thanks to Nathan Vargas. We've got the files. Plus, there are some other modified files on his GitHub page, which is here. I'm going to put a direct link into the PY file, which is the one you're going to need when I show you how to load it. So it says here, PY file, but he has been making other firmware modifications. And just look here, there. And take a look at that but this video is about chirp so the first thing is download chirp and i would download the latest one you may as well click here i'll put the links in the description download the latest chirp run it and open it in the normal way and you will get a window like this you're also going to need the py file so back to the github page and then scroll down i'll put a direct link and look here it says raddell rt950 pro py hopefully You'll just be able to click it and then go download and verified and go back to your downloads and it's there. Radtail RT950 Pro PY file and it is being modified so it, it may change. But you've got the file you need. Now you need to get your chirp into developer mode. So the top here and I'm already in there. Go to help and click developer mode. I'm going to do it twice because I need to go back in it. Help developer mode and then it's going to say to you basically you've got to reboot it okay there you are so shut it down and then reopen chirp chirp's back there now when you go to help it will say developer mode just here now just go file on the left top left file and down. don't be put off by this just focus on what i'm doing and then you'll be using it file load module and that's that file we just downloaded click yes select the module so it's in my downloads put it where you want it just make sure it's the right one radtel rt950 pro py and it's in there so what happens now is when you go radio download from radio in the normal way select your com port it's just the bofun cable isn't it actually no it's not it's a special cable for the Radtel radio. One end screws in the side of the radio. We just see it there. Okay. So let's move that out of the way a minute. Select your COM in the normal way. I'm COM3, Radtel, and then 950. Let's have a quick look. And it is just showing Pro at the moment. I'm, I will test it on my non Pro model. Click OK, and it's reading straight away. So let's take a look. And this is the first time I've looked at it, so I, I haven't got much in there, have I? So we've got Hubnet, GB3WR. Let's put in here, we'll put in uh, GB3FI. So we'll go 430.925. GB3FI. Now, what people like about chirp do capitals gb3 fi is that you can copy the channels from one chirp on a completely different radio copy those channels paste them into this one so that's that's definitely going to help so we want tone and we're uh we're 94 no 77 for gb3 fi and we want a plus shift so duplex hit plus and we want 7.6 here for FI 7.6. Quite often it's the 6,000 for two meters. There you are. There's GB3 FI, and we can select power as well. Uh, so very easy to add repeaters. Let's put in an airband one. Let's see if it recognizes it. 133.850. Of course, no transmit. Yeah, it seems to have gone in. There. They are. Leave that for now. Let's go to settings. Now, I would say it's going to be quite vast. VFO A, B and C. So you can preset them. Let's do that. 145.600. I'll just I'll keep it simple. I don't want to get too complicated here. 434.550. That's my node. And then C. I'll leave it as airband. Broadcast modulation. Broadcast channels. Ooh, that's interesting. We've got our channels in there. 
So mm, I wonder if we could ah, SSB channels. There it is. Channel one when you're in SSB mode. So you're seeing here that you can select the broadcast channel. So on number one there, I'm going to put in 94.30. Give it a name as BBC4, just on number one. Of course, you can add more. That's there. AM, let's put in uh, 20 CB. And then this is VFO mode by the looks of it. So not memory mode. 27.6125. Okay, very good. Sideband, this is the one that where a lot of people will say to you, oh, mine's in Chinese. Yeah, why is yours say 40 meters? So we do actually have to name it 40 meters. So if I put here 40 meters, uh, it's just a name. So 0 0.7150, that's 40 meters. Bandwidth looks like we can set that on the, on the fine tune. So that's good. And let's do, that's number one. Number two, let's do uh 14.200 that's 20 meter band and so we'll call this one 20 meters remember the radio doesn't know it's 20 meters the radio just does its frequency as you scroll down you've got aprs settings there this is pretty good uh, aprs i can i'm not going to enable it ssid i tend to use five this makes it very easy to to add your aprs settings doesn't it DTMF, you can add some favorites. Uh, yeah, let's just go. Star three, four, one, five, two, two. They are for now. And okay. Now, I didn't go in, but we'll have to tinker and learn that. Broadcast global settings. FM current channel, AM current. I'm not sure what these numbers do work mode modulation mode it's just numbers here at the moment okay that's that we know about our memory tab here settings browser info i, I literally don't know what that means and info again that's all double dutch to me that's for clever people so i wonder if it allows us to bring in groups of frequencies i'm just going to quickly write that to the radio so just watch what the radio does a minute Gonna go uh, upload to radio. Click OK. Oh, I don't know what I've changed. Unsupported opera, opera and type S four flow. Maybe I think I've I've added something that I shouldn't have added. So let's just send it. I've simplified it. Let's just go upload to radio now and go OK. No, oh, that's weird. Isn't it? It's now coming up with an error so mm. well i said i always do things with you but you can see i'll load it to use it it's actually possible that you need to load the firmware on as well i'm going to download that and double click tools i'm going to what i'm going to do is just put all the links in keep tinkering at least you've got the links and then at the moment I haven't had a successful upload to the radio yet, have I? So information for now, seven.